Who doesn't love a good self-made YouTube video, right? Couple of commands, pop it in and off you go. There's your, there's your entire video. Bit of editing here and there, simple as. Um, yep, gonna show you three new tools today and um, hopefully you get a lot out of this video. Have a, have a play around and enjoy. If you enjoy this, like, subscribe. Again, had so much fun making these videos. Fasten your seat belts and hold on to your hats. The excitement from the recent Formula One event still lingers in the air. Ah, the thrill of the Zandvoort race. It was a spectacle that had everyone on the edge of their seats. A grand display of speed, precision, and pure adrenaline. All right, so we've got a couple of um, tutorials that I'm going to show you today. Uh, the first one's in video. The second one is Instaverse. And the third one is Wonder Studios. All right, so these three tools um, can obviously combine, uh, create some pretty compelling videos. And um, ultimately using these um, images from uh, Stable Diffusion or from Mid Journey can help now help enhance these videos. Um, so what this is gonna be about today is just a, a bit of a walkthrough on InVideo. Um, so all links will be in the description. Uh, so just click on them. All right, so I'm just gonna log in. All right, so here's InVideo. Now, the great thing about in InVideo is that it can take text and it can create a fully synthesized video. And uh, what does that mean? It means you can basically get narrative, you can get images, and you can ultimately get a um, moving um, narrative for your particular topic. Um, so what I did was I created a um, Formula One one, which is basically a Zandvoort. And um, as you can see over here, you can remove the watermark, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but if you click on this, it's basically I said create a, a stock video around Zandvoort. Um, and as you can see, it's really created the images, it's created some movement, um, and it's ultimately created some narration. So pretty pretty fantastic stuff, actually. All right, so let's just stop that one and let's just go back. All right, so click on the little fish and we wanna create an AI video. All right, so select the workflow. A recent events video that's what I created already so let's do another let's do that again so just so you can show you exactly what it's about all right so the way I created it was a f1 Zand Zandvoort in the Dutch Grand Prix and then I basically just went to a random website the Formula One website and popped in the news item that I wanted Choose the gender, so female voice, um, and we can do a young British voice and click on continue. All right, it's now going to be a uh, click of the button and it will ultimately analyze it, um, start un unpacking it a bit more and start creating other links. All right, so as you can see here, it's created some other links to get some information and if one races, and so it's basically knew what I was trying to do and I think that's pretty fantastic. So we'll let that have a have a think and it's ultimately going to prepare it and start creating it. Right. So once it's uh, once it's been created, it's ultimately going to look something like this and um, you can now go in and edit it if you would like. All right, so you can click on the edit button and give me a command. Um, Delete the second scene, it's not relevant, make the scene half as long, it's too wordy, change the current stock to a drone shot of a forest. All right, so as you can see over here, here's your, your different scenes. All right, so you can do this, and ultimately um, you can do some text to edit uh, scenarios. Um, so have a play around with it, I think it was quite cool, and um, I thought that there was some real, um, um, some power behind this. And uh, ultimately, if you wanted to create your other, um, other stock images, or you wanna upload your own images, you click on the upload button, and you can ultimately start replacing images with whichever ones that you like. All right, so again, pretty powerful stuff, pretty fantastic. Um, I'll create another video on this and how to use it in a bit more detail, but this is just a, a quick show, um, show of this new tool. All right, so yeah, pretty decent. And you can ultimately download it if you're happy with the editing. All right, so that's great. And um, 
Yeah, the tool I wanted to show you was Instaverse and um, I found this quite exciting because it takes a text to image and creates a 3D environment for you. As you can see over here in the picture, it's basically a 3D view of uh, Candyland, which I thought was quite awesome. So sign up to um, the Instaverse and the way you would create it is click on the um, magnifying glass and then type about type in your dream location. So all I did was I typed in Candyland. All right, so it basically uses a couple of credits um, to create these images. So if you want to, you can just go buy some credits. And um, ultimately what you do is you click on the generate button. And this is what it's created. So a pretty fantastic Candyland scene and um, pretty detailed. And it ultimately allows you to move around. So as you can see on the screen over here, you can start changing things. And if you click on the um, um, game console button it allows you to start moving things around you can zoom in you can zoom out and ultimately a great sort of way to enhance your videos or to add extra scenes or extra dynamism to your um, your motion um, art um, so again quite promising still very early stages of this product but really really promising Right, so the third tool I wanted to show you was Wonder Studio by Wonder Dynamics. Pretty fantastic software. So uh, go onto the website and um, have a scroll down to see what they do and what they stand for and the problem they're trying to solve. Um, what I found quite interesting was the uh, founders, uh, so Ty Sheridan from Ready Player One fame, so Steven Spielberg's movie. Uh, really cool. So again, some really good backing on it. Um, so if you haven't already signed up, but what you do is click on the open app and that will then ultimately take you into the software. All right, so this is your landing page. I've already created a whole bunch of videos. I'm just having an experiment. Um, so what you do is you click on create project. But before we go into that, let's just have a quick squiz at what I created previously. All right, so I basically took a video of my daughter on a slide at a park nearby and um, just straight normal iPhone and um, put it into the software to see what it would do. And as you can see, it's overlaid a Bob character onto um, the video. So pretty cool. All right, so the way we do it is go create new um, project and click on continue for the live easy action. It'll bring you to your canvas, simple click on upload videos on your left hand side. Right, so once you've got your video, it will be uploaded into the Wonder Studio. Simple drag and drop into the main canvas. It's gonna then scan all the images, or scan the video, and you then click on next. Simply choose your actor. All right, so scan the scene for any actor. So it's gonna basically look for any sort of humanoid type of activity and ultimately uh, put a little square around it. All right, so you now click on it and you can now assign a character that you would like. So really simple, you can now have a look at which character you wanna put on. If you click on the avatar, it'll give you a short uh, description and show you what it will look like. Um, yeah, so I don't think a beastie bot would look good for a daughter on a slide, but yeah, I chose Bob, cute little path pig type creature. And now, as you can see, the actor has been assigned to um, that image. So click on next and it'll ask you what type of video you want to create. So 1080p, 720, and you click on the start processing. Um, I've already done that. So it's basically running in the background. So let's just go back to our um, canvas and click over there. And um, ultimately the um, system will start generating it in the background. It takes about an hour for a sort of a 15 to 20 second video. Um, and ultimately once it's done, it'll be, it'll appear in your recent projects. All right. Fasten your seat belts and hold on to your hats. The excitement from the recent Formula One event still lingers in the air. Ah, the thrill of the Zandvoort race. It was a spectacle that had everyone on the edge of their seats a grand display of speed, precision, and pure adrenaline. The Dutch Grand Prix, as it's formerly known, marked a triumphant return of Formula One after a three-week hiatus. The star of the show, none other than the defending champion Max Verstappen, who continued his dominant form. Having won the last eight races, Verstappen was the favorite, and he didn't disappoint. 
With the support of the home crowd, he clinched his ninth consecutive win, equaling a record and setting the racing world ablaze. But let's not forget the others who made their mark at Circuit Zandvoort. Fernando Alonso, making a strong comeback, secured second place, showing that experience and skill truly pay off. Pierre Gasly, securing his first podium as an Alpine driver, was another standout, reminding us all why he is one to watch in future races. Other notable performances came from Carlos Sainz, who finished in sixth place, showcasing his defensive prowess. Lewis Hamilton, despite starting at the back of the grid, managed to fight his way to a commendable fifth position, proving once again his resilience and determination. And who could forget the debut of Liam Lawson for Alpha Tori? It was an impressive start, one that promises great things for this young driver's future in Formula One. However, the race wasn't without its disappointments. Alex Alban, who started in fourth position, ended in eighth place, while Yuki Tsunoda, despite a strong start, fell down the order due to a strategic decision. In the end, the Zandvoort race was a thrilling roller coaster of a ride, filled with breathtaking moments, unexpected turns, and unforgettable performances. It was a testament to the sheer excitement and unpredictability of Formula One, a grand spectacle that left us all eagerly awaiting the next race. So, as the dust settles on the track, we are left with the memories of a race that had it all. Speed, skill, strategy, and suspense. The echoes of the engines may have faded, but the thrill of the Zandvoort race continues to reverberate in the world of Formula One.